does this mean um, that Jordan Love isn't as good as we think? Oh, yeah, come that's on. exactly what it means. No, that's no, exactly no. what it means. This Dude, it was the Packers Titans. Team. The Titans suck. Dude, no NFL team sucks. They're all professional. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Straight to the action, there's a lot going on Try to lock these reductions down, right? Call me John I'ma talk to Jared, cause he might keep me calm Had my top pick for this week, but he bombed Caleb said he had a weak week, but he's strong Jonathan said he repeat, now it's on In love with the game, who you got? Can I wait? Drop by by the dorm, come and watch, it's the babe What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Dorm Debate Podcast And welcome to our third episode of Season 5 Week three is almost over. Thursday night game's done. The day games for the Sunday games are over. And now we're on to the primetime game, uh, Chiefs versus Falcons. And then we got two Monday night games. So still a lot of football ahead for you guys. Um, Well, actually, when I post this, it's going to be a little later. But (laughs) I'm just thinking ahead. Sorry. Uh, (laughs) Today, we have a great episode for you guys. Uh, it's Would You Rather NFL Quarterback Edition. Now, these quarterbacks aren't, they're not every single one in the NFL, but it's those mid tier um, guys that are brand new, the rookies, the sophomores, and some guys that have been in the league for a while that are now having some, some great performances, maybe some bad performances. And we want to kind of compare the middle of the pack NFL quarterbacks. We want to see what we all think of them because. It's pretty random out there. We got Andy Dalton throwing three touchdowns. Sam Darnold almost leads the league in passing yards. Um, Justin Fields was like 11 for 11 to start the game today. I mean, and Malik Willis is 2-0 and as a Packers quarterback. I mean, it, it's amazing that these quarterbacks are just coming out of nowhere. Who We kind of have written off. So I want to kind of start a conversation, and with that, we'll play Would You Rather. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. You're hype. Okay, I can feel it. Mm-hmm. Jonathan, I didn't really feel it from you. Are you hype? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> okay, good. Jonathan's a little down. The Cowboys lost. We're not going to talk about it. All right? I, well, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't even brought it up. It might come up, but. <laughs> <laughs> Dak is not on the list, so I spared you. I so spared cool. you, okay? Yeah, it's been, been an, an emotional day. Debate. It's been emotional, yes. Yeah. I yeah. benched neighbors. Eagles barely <laughs> won. I mean, we won, but it was a tough Giants two won. hours. Giants, Giants, Giants one, on and I had I had Jawan Jennings as a weekly pick. I mean, today has just been great for me. <laughs> John, I was telling you about that survivor bracket I have. Yeah, and guess who I oh, picked no. to lose? No, you didn't. I picked the Giants to lose. No, oh, he's zero for three. Jonathan, you were zero for three. How I'm do you do three. that? Wait, you got your plus seven wait, can pick. You, wait, can you pick. text me who you're gonna pick next week? Because then they're gonna be the biggest underdog, and I'm gonna win so yeah, much money. I'll do that. <laughs> Just I'll like, do all that. right. So next week so I'm good because one of my weekly picks is gonna be on Caleb's bench, and one of my bets is gonna be from Jonathan's pick. Yeah, it's so yeah. nauseating when I get. <laughs> I've been off. I don't know. It's like the football gods. I don't know what's going on, man. No. Wait, no so no. week week one, you pick two. Week one, I picked the Bengals to beat the Patriots. Yeah. Okay. And then week last two, week, you picked the Ravens to beat the Panthers. Exactly. Or pay, uh, Raiders. Raiders. Raven, Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. And then okay, you picked the, the Browns. Day. You picked the Browns, though. Yeah, I thought the Giants were struggling hey, through that season. I did too. I did too. <laughs> that was Jared Locke. Yeah, yeah, that was my lock. Oh, so my. I'm, I'm with you. I, I went down with you. I don't think anyone saw the Giants performing as well uh, as they did. Neighbors. But people, they people finally woke know. up and said, "Hey, we have neighbors." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's all you need. That's really wholesome, guys. Daniel Jones is not on the list. Um, Good. But mm. let's get into Would You Rather Quarterback Edition. The first one, Will Levis or Malik Willis? Would you rather Will Levis or Malik Willis? So how's, how's this going to work? Like, are we, are we have to agree, right? So we, we have to We don't have to all it. agree. It just has to be majority, and there's four of us. So, it's so if tough. it's 2v2, two two, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, let's, just go, let's just go around quick. I mean, I mean. All right, I'll take I, Malik Willis. I mean, yeah, I'll take Malik as well. I'll take Malik. And I'll take Malik as well. Okay, yeah, okay. so yeah, we don't even have to talk about it. Will Levis sucks. I mean, oh, yeah. he was. Exactly. I like his memes though. I think <laughs> yeah, he's in a tough position. <laughs> Titans overall are not great, so Malik Willis has surprised. So I'd take Malik Willis for now. Isn't but it crazy that they Levis. were both on the same team and the Titans yeah. barely used 
<laughs> Malik Willis. Yeah, but honestly, honestly, this is complete coaching. Lafleur is a great coach. Mm. It's a hundred percent coaching. I, I don't think that like if Malik Will or if um, Levis was on the Packers, I would probably he would have probably won and had good games because he has a strong arm levis does but yeah and the titans are like in a transition period it's like like, like, that you know henry's not there anymore uh rabel like they're they're in a post era of of you know they're they're rebuilding and yeah poor poor levis is okay so more situational then yeah yeah yeah. i think levis can i don't think my prediction is malik's not gonna move much further in this game does this does this mean um that jordan love isn't as good as we think Oh, yeah, that's on. exactly what it means. No, that's no, exactly no. what it means. This Dude, it was the Packers Titans. Team. The Titans suck. Oh. Dude, no NFL team sucks. They're all professionals. Oh my okay. god, the, cow- <laughs> the Cowboys. The cow- why, why do you say the Bills suck then? Uh, that's, I mean, that's just the Bills. <laughs> like, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> now, Jonathan has a point. You see the Broncos, what they did today. Like, it's true. Like, they're. they're we forget how elite even the worst teams in the NFL yeah. are when they want to show up. True. And. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game of matchups. It's a game of matchups. That's Um, a good question about Jordan Love, though. I think he's legit. Yeah, I I think he's legit. Come on, he threw thirty-five touchdowns. Yeah, Yeah, Malik didn't throw. Well, he did throw two, but (laughs) 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 he's two turnovers. Yeah, no, no. I mean, we saw Malik play last, like last couple. Was it just last year? It was his first year. Yeah, he sucked last year. He sucked badly, badly. It wasn't even close. And now look at him. He has a great passer rating. He doesn't have any turnovers. I mean, the guy's Dude, looking that's great. Why, that's why we said you got to trade Bryce Young. Because, look, Malik Willis changes teams, and it works. Like, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's and thank you. Happens. Trade Bryce Young. Dude, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. Dude, I heard there was rumblings. I'm going to trade Bryce Young. I'm going to throw a team out there. There's more rumors. Young. There. There's more rumors you, tell yeah. me, you tell me if Bryce Young would fit here. Okay. Seahawks. <laughs> okay. Okay. For the future, yeah. Yeah. Gino's yeah. Gino's hot right now. Gino yeah. has been good. Gino's hot, yeah. But got a lot of weapons. Dude, got if he sits behind Gino, sits behind, behind Gino, Gino for a yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's Let him get needs. some confidence. Well, is him a home behind Smith yeah, for a year? Another Smith? Yeah, Alex, Alex Smith. Smith. Right. Like yeah, let him yeah. let him get his confidence back. That's not crazy. Exactly. That's not crazy at all. Yeah, because he hasn't really learned from a veteran. Andy Dalton. They just threw him into the wolves right away. So it's no wonder. I mean, Although it does, I'm sure Andy Dalton might be on here, but that is an interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it moving because. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, so does it, so do, everybody knows how the game works, right? So this yep. quarterback's gonna move along, play. Yeah. Yep. So we have we one. have to defend or replace Willis with whoever Jared has next. All right, for us. Malik Willis or Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Give me Malik Willis. I'm, no, I'm going to take Deshaun, even no, though I don't like him. Not, don't You're better, taking dude. Deshaun? Deshaun's better than Malik Willis, guys. Oh, no, know. I'm taking Malik. I'm taking Malik. Jonathan, you know Caleb Deshaun's better. Caleb and I are better. taking Malik. Jonathan's People who a know tiebreaker. Watson is not, is not who we think he is. Or he we, just lost to the Giants, Jonathan. He's not who we thought Giants he was. Giants are good, dude. Did you Browns? see the defensive line? <laughs> Browns defense. You hear him? He, Deshaun Watson's making him think the Giants are good. The this is terrible. <laughs> It's Malik the, yeah. Willis. Come the on. Browns do not have a good let's, quarterback. Jonathan, you're the tiebreaker. Let's hear it. I never thought I would say this in a thousand years, especially last year, but I'm taking Malik Willis. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. And he's Jonathan's moving on. Character arc you guys are coming. What are you guys, guys watching? You should, you, I mean, Deshaun had opportunities to, to extend, extend plays. He had opportunities to extend drives, rather. Okay. He's sitting there in the pocket, forcing throws. You can run. Use your feet. There's a lot of space over there. I mean, he did. it was frustrating watching him. No, His I mean, line is ass, dude. Let's not it's blame the, the line. worst he, line. He, but he's been he, on he that team the most for how many years? Of that, any quarterback in the first three weeks. How many years has he been on that team at this point? Like it, it is. We, he's yeah. they, the Browns don't have a good quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're moving Malik, on. Malik, man. All right. So Malik is moving on. Okay. John. Nobody picked it. I'm surprised that you were... I thought it was going to be a clean sweep. You usually hate Deshaun, but all right. I do, but Malik, Malik sucks. Malik Willis, <laughs> moving on. He's 2-0, and just like in real life. Wow. And he's moving That's on. where it's going to stop. <laughs> Malik Willis or Anthony Richardson. Oh, come Caleb. On. Oh. oh. I am going to go with... Oh, Caleb first. Yeah, I'll take... I'll take Willis. Okay, Malik is moving on. Caleb, oh my god, <laughs> John, what do you say? AR fifteen. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't say that we're going <laughs> to get demonetized. I will <laughs> take Anthony Richardson. <laughs> that actually is number. It's his nickname, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just saying this out of nowhere. I'm like, what am I missing out on? Jonathan? <sighs> I'm going to take Malik Willis. Dude, what are you on? I'm big, I'm big on turnovers, man. Three interceptions last game. It was one game. game. Where, dude, two, you, you two interceptions look at this game. Completely. Two games. Yeah, yeah. Two games. Last game, he had three interceptions. This game, he had two, two interceptions. interceptions. I mean, that's too much, man. That's too much. You can't be doing that. Malik Willis, no still- turnovers. That's I'm big on that. At least if you suck, don't turn over the ball. At least <laughs> do what your coach to do. Hand the ball. Throw five well, yards. You have pass. to realize turn the ball the, over. Malik Willis was... This was coaching. It wasn't Malik. <laughs> hey, Malik also has got a run game, too. He had a rushing touchdown today. Like, Anthony yeah. Richardson got nothing on Malik Willis right now. Yeah. But yeah. that stat line is like Strong, what Rodgers used arm. to be. Like, just not don't throw picks. Like, like, Jonathan has a point. If you're not talented, I mean, I, I think he is. But, like, that's a huge thing, just not throwing picks. is hard yeah. for <laughs> quarterbacks to do, apparently. Yeah. Not even yeah. apparently. It just is. But he's, yeah. I mean, it's only been a few games. But for now... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Anthony Richardson has a higher ceiling. He's yeah, more talent. But, like, Malik Willis right now, I'll take him because he's doing what he's coached to do. He's less turnovers. Yeah. He's executing. He's the backup as well, and they're, they're winning 2-0. and Like, people yeah. – I think even we did, uh, I think, we're discounting the Packers. You know, just like the, these, these weeks without Jordan Love are just gone. Yeah. Willis has stepped in and, you yeah, know, it's... got them some wins, which is huge. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, let's let's move on because we got, we got a good one. Okay. Malik Willis moves on. John, you're left behind again. again. <laughs> um, Malik Willis or Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton oh, started. Oh, I know I'm going to win this. Don't worry. He started week three for the Panthers, and he had over 300 yards and three touchdowns. I, I saw something on Twitter. I believe he's the only quarterback this year to have 300 yards and three touchdowns. Um, yep. Yep. He willed them to a, a win against the Raiders. Yep. Um, so Andy Dalton or Malik Willis. Is this, this where is, Willis this is, is no run debate. stops? This is going to be this is going to be clean sweet. The Red Rifle. The oh, red can't rifle. say that. Gonna you get can't say it. Rewind. Oh, what's up with all the <laughs> references? <today? laughs> what's with all the references? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, is this where it ends? A Kayla? Brian Burns jersey. A BB. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna rewind. <laughs> uh, uh, give me, uh, give me Andy Dalton today. He oh, had a better you. day, and thank I think big you. picture, he's oh, actually. Uh, I was, I was gonna okay. say he's a shooter. But <laughs> oh, sh- rewind. He's a he's a gunslinger. <laughs> ah, shoot. Uh, rewind. <laughs> he, he was a great quarterback. <laughs> uh, we're getting demonetized. <laughs> All right, John. We're going to lose the 10 cents we made last week. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me give me uh, Andy Dalton, 100%. That's why I had him as a weekly pick. I have faith. Good stuff, yeah. Um, I'm going really close. Okay. Jonathan. Guys, oh. guys, guys. It, it's uh. not like Andy Dalton had a great game, which he did. It's Mandy. more like the Raiders. The Raiders shot themselves Mandy. in the foot. Bad rushing. It was like, what did they have? Fifty-five yards of total rushing yards for the Raiders. For, no, for the Raiders. no, 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 no. Raiders had a bad game. How am I going to say? <laughs> well, I'm going to say Andy Dalton. How am I going to say Andy uh, Dalton? Like, you know, it's because the Dalton lost managed the game. Than... Dalton managed the game well. You won't say it. You, you won't say it because it makes Bryce Young look bad now. Yeah. Dude. No, no, dude. It's, it's, this is a better situation for Andy Dalton. Don't get me wrong. This team fits better for Andy Dalton. But yeah. this game, the Raiders just had a bad game. Um, mm-hmm. Ministry threw an interception. Only 55, 55 yards rushing. They didn't have a rushing attack. So it's it's easy to you know stop a team if they can't rush the okay. ball. Okay. All right. And Hold so, on. You know what I'm going to do? Pause right there for one second. Last yeah. week against the Ravens, you know how many rushing yards the Raiders has a, had, a, had a team? 27. So how'd they win? Wait, how'd they win? They didn't have rushing yards. Is that true? Devontae was dropping a lot of balls today. I will say that. Mm. Uh, really? Let me get my yeah, he right. did He did drop like two or three for sure. Um, Interesting. <clears throat> well, while you're looking that up, Jonathan, and figuring well, out a response, I'm going to say... <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Andy Dalton. He's right. I'm going right. to say Andy Dalton. That's so... Right. 
Jonathan it's guys, Taylor guys, behind. guys. It's one game. Y'all, y'all are overreacting. This you're is you're overreacting, overreacting on Malik Willis. Talk you're about over- overreactions. You're overreacting on Malik. Dude, two <laughs> games, one game maybe. Two games like this. All right, uh, watch, some, watch, watch, watch Dalton next game. All right, I can't wait. And Andy Dalton, Let's remember this. Moving on. Remember this. And remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know the chat agrees with me. <laughs> Come on, chat. Two million <laughs> likes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where it gets spicy. We have uh, two players, two quarterbacks who played for the Panthers. Mm. Would you rather Andy Dalton or Sam Darnold? Sam Darnold is probably the hottest quarterback right now. Uh he has 657 passing yards. That's top 10. He's got eight touchdowns that leads the league and only two interceptions. And the Vikings, mind you, are 3-0. and They beat the 49ers last week, and they beat – who they beat today, John? The Texans. The Texans, two teams that wow. arguably – I say I think most people had them not only making the playoffs but making – their conference final games, uh, Texans and the 49ers. So he is rolling. The team is rolling. But would you rather have him or Andy Dalton? Caleb? I'd take Sam Darnold with his situation now, which is saying a lot because I have not been a fan. Yeah. uh, yeah. He's turned it around. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I've also haven't been a big fan of of Darnold, but he's played very well, not only beating those teams. You could say their defense played well because it has, but he's done his, you know, his job on the offensive side of the ball. When you look at their offense, Hawkinson's not there, Addison hasn't played, and they don't they have Aaron Jones who's new to the offense, but he's playing well, but he threw four mm-hmm. touchdowns today. And when you're the Texans defense, you're like, who do we really have to stop other than Jefferson? Well, they couldn't even stop Jefferson, but and Aaron Jones yeah. had a touchdown, Naylor had a touchdown, Munt had a touchdown, and it's like, damn, like Darnold's really running this offense like he should. And mm-hmm. he he might be actually good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, Jonathan. Bad news for JJ McCarthy. Yeah, I wonder Bad if there's competition news. there, you know. Yeah, I would I would say Sam Darnold as well. I've always been a Sam Darnold fan. I okay. do give you credit for that. Even when he was terrible in the Jets, you yeah. you, you saw potential in him when Yeah, it's all about the situation you're in. It's it sucks. A lot of these quarterbacks end up in crappy teams and then people label them as terrible, but I mean come on. It's not fair. It's a team game. Um Sam Darnold is doing very well. I think um yeah, I think this is his team now. His team to lose. JJ McCarthy, he's gonna have to earn that starting position back um but at the same time he's hurt so he's getting to understand the offense better really getting to um understand the playbook and not having to jump in there and make a lot of mistakes i think the rookies this year have struggled even caleb williams the heisman um trophy winner he's struggling so it's best for him to learn as much of the offense as possible and then potentially try to win the starting position next year but um it's gonna be tough Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, Darnold's statistically number one. Plus, you're talking about the rookies not doing well. Have you guys seen the talk about the how common too high safety, like cover two, is with this league so far this year? Like, why it's been low scoring? No. Like, well, it's just like the teams are really trying to take away the deep ball, which is uh, what cover two is pretty good at. And and, and it is, but it's, it takes away that kind of big play exchange. So it forces quarterbacks to work underneath. And I think that's why it's punishing rookies who may. We're getting thrown into the fire right away, which we've yep. said for years is like they're not letting them cook for a year and then letting them start. So mm-hmm. that might be part of it too. But it's been impressive with Donald. I, Jonathan, I do give you credit. You've been you've been bullish on him for a while, and he's finally flourishing. And I don't know. It's Oops. just it just seems like a good fit for him. I'm yeah. also gonna go Sam Darnold. So Sam Darnold Moves knocking on. off Andy Dalton, and he is moving on. Okay. To our next quarterback, a rookie, Sam Darnold, or Jaden Daniels, Jaden Daniels out of Washington Commanders. Wait, so is this is this like um this season or like if I'm starting a team from scratch, like who would I want my quarterback to be, or who do I have more confidence? Rest no, of like you're season? starting you're starting a quarterback tomorrow. Like you're uh, starting on your team tomorrow. Tomorrow, mm-hmm. yeah. 
like like you're taking him right now. Yeah, I I <laughs> I would still have to go with Darnold. I like Daniels and what he's done so far, but I I think Darnold he's been solid. He hasn't made mistakes. Um Daniels has made a couple. But Daniels does not have a passing touchdown or an or interception. interception. Yeah, he has a rushing touchdown for now. For now, when, <laughs> when, when he hasn't played the Monday night game, so he That's may true. have one now. So don't <laughs> don't quote us on that. But yeah, uh, yeah, he, and he's got a run. He's got some running ability that Darnold really doesn't have. So he has a leg up on there. But yeah, we still need to see some passing from him. But Caleb, your I, I take Darnold as well, just because. Okay. Th- Daniels is developing the structure around him again. How much of it is is the team that they go on to? So I'm picking Darnold as well because now he's finally flourishing, got the confidence. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking Darnold. Darnold, <laughs> John, and all right. Caleb said it all. Yep. Darnold's moving on now. This is a tough one. I'll admit this is a very tough one. All right. We have Sam Darnold or Justin Fields. Justin Fields is on the Pittsburgh Steelers. He most recently just beat the Chargers. Caleb, let me know who you would pick, Sam Darnold or Justin Fields. That's tough because I like, I've like i liked Justin Fields. I think he was in a terrible situation with the Bears, and you see Caleb Williams now living that reality out. There's been flashes of more greatness with Williams, but I said the same thing with, with Fields. Like I thought he had it, and I think he does. I think it's been a good situation with him with the Steelers. Now, Part of where my mind goes is has Fields, who had the lower value and, and who so far has had the higher hilltop, Darnold or Fields? And I feel like the way Darnold got roasted, even amongst like, <laughs> I, I could, you know, like we, 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 we remember that they're players and they're people, you know, but we never, I don't think I would have imagined us like having Darnold make it through these rounds till now. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's just playing so well, and I like that he's elevating. I think it was last week we were talking about great quarterbacks have like have a habit of historically elevating the receivers around them, and Darnold having eight to two, even without. I mean, he certainly has Justin Jefferson, which helps a lot, but even without the other uh, positions, like John pointed out, I, I I just personally like the more mobile ability that Fields offers. That mm-hmm. uh, it's like if it's Madden, and I had to start one. I'd pick Fields, but real life. Oh, plus, uh, just because Darnold does have Jefferson, but Fields has Pickens, and Pickens is really good. I don't think people realize how good he is, but Jefferson's probably you know better. So it's like, how much is that making Darnold look better? You know, ah, uh, I, I'd say f- I'm gonna go with Fields. One vote for Fields. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. convinced myself. It's it's a close yeah. one though. I also do like Fields. Um, really? I think that he he has played well so far, but it's also the system that he's in. I mean, when you play for Tomlin, it's like LaFleur is a good coach, like I said, for Malik, and then Tomlin's a good coach for Fields because Tomlin knows how to settle you down. And, and Fields made a lot of mistakes in Chicago, and, and Tomlin's great at making the playoffs every year. They play good defense. They play you know, turnover-free offense, and Fields has done pretty well with that. Now, I'm still going to take Darnold over Fields um, in this scenario, even though I do mm. like the upside of Fields. I think long-term Fields has, you know, the better, the higher ceiling. Um, but for wow, right you're now, taking Darnold. I, I am taking Darnold. Both, if both I, three if I had a, Yeah, if I had a team and I needed a quarterback to start tomorrow, I would pick Darnold. Wow. Mm. Okay. Two votes. Oh, one vote for Fields, one vote for Darnold. One and one. Let's see how Jared, you guys go. Jared, it's not a surprise. Caleb, I'm surprised by the pick. What, 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 like, universe are we in, guys? <laughs> Justin Fields yeah. over Sam Darnold? Is that he even, just, that shouldn't no, even Fields be a debate. Just, like you said, Fields was just in a bad situation. Last no, year. He, he's I've like, studied this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't win you anything. I'm, I'm he's saying, I'm, three I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about game. I'm talking, right, I'm talking about, like, if you want to win a Super Bowl, if you want to win a conference championship, that's not the guy to do it. I don't even guys, know Donald's are you, yet. look at the games uh chris boswell he's the reason they've won it's not because of uh, justin fields he's got him in field goal range like several times good with his legs but this guy can't throw like this guy i still haven't seen his he football can't IQ. throw dude, dude yeah, he can't did you throw. see his throw throw, his throw today objectively was good to calvin that was Austin one throw yeah you're talking about one the one throw he got lucky on every game <laughs> i can get lucky i just put me on a football field i'll get lucky one throw <laughs> if you look at the entire games he's his had completion a games, percentage no. is top four 
not, his completion percentage, his QBR among yeah, all top. other quarterbacks, his QBR among all the other quarterbacks. No, no, he's not top Jared. He is, <laughs> he's like 20, 47 QBR. All 24, like the whole 2024. Kyle Murray's number one. Okay. Josh Allen's number two. So this, this list is valid. Derek Carr number three. Okay. <laughs> Justin Fields is number 20 at 47 QBR. Guys, what? this guy can't throw the ball. I, I like the guy. I wish him well, but I want to start a franchise with him. Bro, pick he, started, he started the game against the Chargers going 11 for 11. He's 75% completion percentage in the three games. And it's the Steelers. Their receivers are all bad except for Pickens. Pickens no, I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to buy that. I'm not gonna <laughs> Why not? He wasn't good on the Bears. And he's, he's, he's got no running Steelers. help either. He's got zero running help. Who's the running back for the no, Steelers? Najee had 70 yards today. Najee had 70 yards. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, Thanks. against Thanks, the uh, no, dude, against the Chargers. <laughs> Thanks, Chargers have a 70, good run defense. Seventy all game. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks no, for the, no, no, not no. even a full y- full field. <laughs> seventy yards. Thank you, dude. Seventy <laughs> yards. That's not bad. From? That, yeah, this shouldn't guy's be the bit. slowest running back in the whole entire league. It probably took him eight years to get seventy. <laughs> nah, this shouldn't even be a debate. Just appeals. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Never wow. it's, it's definitely Darnold. It's definitely Darnold. Definitely. We're gonna be. Uh, we'll, We're gonna we'll be split because split I'm picking the... Justin Fields. Are, what, are you oh, kidding me? What planet are you yeah. on, dude? What dude, planet we just are you laid on? Laid out the arguments. Oh, man, yeah. I, I can't believe this is an argument. If you put this on I TikTok, I'm that's sure what I'm people saying. get on. I'm yeah. curious. What the <laughs> don't put this on TikTok. Yeah, don't put that on you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, oh, I don't no, care no. about you guys. Please don't do it. No, we don't record. You guys are gonna get roasted. It's so great because because you guys are like, oh, it's a safe pick to pick Darnold. It's all it's all safe. I can't wait. You you gotta look between the lines. <laughs> You're not watching between the lines. Justin Fields is growing right before our eyes. This growing, is the situation he needs to be He's, in. This is like his, isn't this his third year in the league? This I is mean, his I, first year with the Steelers, an actual competent coach. Right. This is the first year that Darnold's with the Vikings. But oh, no, 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 no. But no, then no, Darnold's no, got no, Jefferson. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. You have different... Justin Jefferson. It takes you one oh. game. They, he, you, dude, he threw four takes touchdown passes. Game. Four touchdown passes. Only one to Jefferson. Only one. <laughs> that means all the ring with other people. Having all, him be a target, all, though, this big dude. Dude, uh, all you really need is one pass from Jefferson to get you going. And once you're warm, you're fine. But Justin Fields has got to get warm all by himself. Cause Pickens? P- Pickens, one guy. What do you go? Pat Fryermuth, Calvin Austin. Dude, uh, you're, you know, you're you know the Steelers' was, defense is way better than the Vikings. No, it's not. No, it's not. What? No, it's not. (laughs) TJ Watt. Vikings defense is TJ Watt. You know. All right, Jared. Name one player on the Vikings defense. It's the whole team. No, oh, you can't. (laughs) They just just beat. They won. Just one. That's it. I just want one. I just want one. Josh Metellus. Josh Metellus. He's not even a starter. He is a starter. He is a starter. But you care if it's a starter or not? He named one. Yeah. Like what the heck? It took twenty seconds. Oh my god! And I said Kyle, so there's a Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're split here, so okay. that means that I'm gonna negate my my yeah, pick. Yeah, so we'll, we'll keep so going with the Sam Darnold moves on, and now we're on to Sam Darnold or <laughs> Caleb Williams. All right, here I'm so this is if I, this is if I have a game tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, with that being said, Justin, I mean, uh, Caleb Williams, I think he had his first touchdown today. Mm. Yep. Um, so, he, he, he hasn't been great. He did pass for over 300 yards, I believe. Yeah, he led the um, lead so this week. It, it was his best game so far uh, against the Colts, but they did lose. It took him a while to get started. Sam Darnold or Caleb Williams? Oh, that's tough. No, it's it's easy for me. I'd go Darnold. Yeah, me really? too. I'll go oh, Darnold as well. That's easy. Yeah, That's easy. I mean, right now, it, it's t- statistically Darnold's better. But if you were to take Williams on that, because the Bears' dysfunction has been consistent with both Fields and Williams. So it's like mm-hmm. them as a whole are more of a problem. That's going to mm-hmm. take a while to fix. But if you were to – I've seen some elements of like good – quarterback play that would make me want to pick Williams more because his, I think his ceiling's higher and he has but more for, potential for tomorrow you think yeah. his ceiling is going to increase that if you were to, by tomorrow well, if, if, you, <laughs> if you were to take if you were to put if you were to swap them out right 
You right. put, you, you know, like the Indiana Jones, you swap, you know, Sam Donald, you just switch the uniforms before the game. I think, I think Williams would do better than Darnold is in his position. Really? Okay. Yeah. So we got one vote for Darnold, one vote for Williams. Jonathan? Yeah, Darnold. <laughs> Darnold? <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're not sold on, on Williams anymore? Jonathan? I've seen him. I mean, he's still developing. He has a lot of potential, but yeah, right now, he has, tomorrow. He's got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do Darnold. All right. Well, when we'll they gave my pick anyway, but I would pick Caleb Williams. <laughs> Dude, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> we didn't play. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we're talking about tomorrow. the game is tomorrow, guys. Yeah, dude. Give me. Give Darnold me. Darnold just went two hundred yards for touchdowns. Prime time, eight p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard. Caleb Williams and Justin Jefferson's show. Give me that, and if they're on the same team, I'm taking them by eight touchdowns. I mean, it, it would, yeah. it's, no, no. It, it would be unreal. There's the it ele- would be unreal. There's the element of expectations where Caleb Williams went into the league and the expectations are so high. That's part of it. It's also why the Texans are playing differently this year where people know they're good, so people play them differently. And Darnold is good. He's legit. He's made it this far in our rankings. But it's also like, what do you have to lose if you're the backup, you get the starting position, Everyone mm-hmm. says the Vikings are going to stink, and you ball out. Like the expectations are totally different now. If you carry that a year from now, and people know he's good now, will he perform the same? It's it's different energy. So I feel like Caleb Williams would is already in that now and kind of has some, you know. But you know, okay, okay. I mean, he, he's running for his life nine times out of ten. Yeah. The line's terrible. You give him even two seconds, and he's already found Justin Jefferson. So it's like who knows? Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, last one. And I, I and this is this one's gonna, might be split again. Okay. Last one. Darnold cannot. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Sam <laughs> Darnold or Geno Smith out of Seattle. Been there for three years now. Three years is third year. Um, let's pull some stats because I gotta. Mm. While well, you guys think about this, 787 passing yards, three touchdowns, and three interceptions now they these stats might be different because they may or may not be updated from this uh for today week three yeah it says that they are but who knows um but yeah it is. geno smith and dk metcalf geno smith and jsn they have been clicking recently he had another deep pass to dk um it, it seems like he's on the money he he had a great year his first year in seattle Second year kind of disappeared, went under the radar, and, and and had a bad year. Now he's back again. So uh, this third year with the Seahawks, he's actually looking pretty efficient. Um, you know, yeah. They wrote him off, but I guess they didn't write back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I'll start this one off because I, I I think I I, I already know uh, Gino Gino Smith. I'll take over Sam Darnold. Yeah, um, Gino and Sam Darnold's QBR for the season so far is close enough where I'd rather take Gino because he can rush. He has an element of rushing that can mm-hmm. you know potentially win you games. And he does have a couple more years of – well, he has several more years of experience than Darnold. And he's, mm-hmm. So he's seasoned. They have similar QBRs this year. And then Gino also provides that extra rushing element. So I'd take Gino. Has Gino ran the ball at all? He's a uh... – 11 carries, 36 yards, one touchdown rushing. Mm-hmm. Darnold has eight carries, 35 yards rushing, zero rushing touchdowns. Mm. So about the same amount of yards. Rushing just Gino yeah, got so. in. With the I one touchdown. Gino then, Gino's, Gino got in. Gino's thrown it. They're almost 20 times more. He's 77 for 103, and Darnold's 53 for 78. Kind of interesting how the, those teams play. Yeah. Hmm, that is a good one. I that is play. close. Yeah, is, I'm, not, I'm honestly this, still deciding here. This is tough. This is really tough. Because John, think yeah. The reason I picked Gino is I I do believe that his decision making in crucial crucial decisions, clutch time. I think yeah. I would lean more towards Gino, mm-hmm. mainly because Darnold. We really haven't seen it. Like all mm. the games so far have been not close. Yeah, blowouts. Um, like game so, manager kind of. Like yeah, like easier. I, I want to see. I mean, we saw Gino one one of his first games at, in Seattle, and he he clutched up against Denver, I believe. Yeah. Um. So mm. we've seen him in clutch moments. Make the right decision. Uh, is yeah. is Sam Darnold as poised as Gino as clutch 
to be able to drive down the field when you're down. We haven't really seen Darnold when he's down. So, like, yeah. I, I need to see him come back yeah. the similar ways that Gino has, which isn't even a knock to Darnold, but he just hasn't been put in those situations. So I, because he has been absent from situations, I would, I would defer to Gino. He's got that experience, and I think this is the hardest one. It's a good one, Jared. Um, because, if he, I mean, one way to look at it is Geno Smith is like Sam Donald, but a couple years into the future, you know? Like, everyone discounted him. He was a high-ranked prospect, and everyone said he sucked. And then he, stay, he stayed steady, consistent, and now he's leading a team and doing well. I mean, 3-3, three and three, those turnovers aren't great, but he's also throwing at 20, 20 times more in game. It's just a different style. Mm-hmm. And like y'all are saying, not only just the experience practically of just being in the league that long, um, but we've seen him overcome adversity in some games, and that's kind of an element that you don't really know you got it till you got it. And... I'm not saying Donald doesn't. I feel like this is one where I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Gino. I feel like the comments will roast us because statistically, right now Donald is better, but Gino I think is one I'd I'd pick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna it's it's a really close one for me, but I'm gonna agree with you guys and say Gino. Oh, and for oh. most of the reasons that you guys said, like if I have one game tomorrow and both quarterbacks knew, like whatever quarterback I knew knew that they had to win. I do have a little bit more faith in Gino because, like you said, Jared, not only this season he's been in closer games, but in his career he has a little bit more experience. And the stats are close enough this season for me to be able to pick. You know, they both played pretty well. So it, I, I feel more confident in Gino if, like you said, he has to come back or it's, let's say, a playoff game tomorrow. I would have more confidence in Gino. Mm-hmm. So Gino makes it out. He's the last quarterback standing. Nice. He was the last quarterback that we had to go through. But, <laughs> man, uh, Sam Darnold, I think what I got from this is that Sam Darnold is gaining some respect in the league. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, surprisingly. I'm, yeah. I'm amazed he made it. He, he's earned it. I just would never, a year ago, I would not have pictured this. No, me either. No. Um, well, that's going to do it for our uh, Would You Rather NFL Quarterback Edition. Uh, please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video. If you disagree with the video, if you think there was a better quarterback than Gino that should have won this, uh, please comment down below. Uh, please, if you are not following on TikTok and on Instagram at Dorn Bay Podcast, please go over and hit that follow button. The link will be in the description. And if you are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. We are going on a road to 5,000 subscribers on the YouTube. Please help us get there. Uh, We would really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we will see you guys next week.